income loss. Why is that not surprising? Uh, I think it's this way. morning. Good morning. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Carol. Hi, Timothy. Hi there. How's everybody doing? It's Sunday. I am in Georgia for a soccer tournament where I have been for the last two days. And um, just out walking. I don't really know where I'm going. Like, watch me get lost or something. I think there's a trail. Or I thought there was. Good morning. Well, I can walk in a circle here. Um, anyway, so it's shaping up to be a beautiful day here. It's supposed to be 73 and sunny. Our game is at noon, and then we'll drive back to Birmingham. Um, Max is playing in a separate tournament, um, and he won his game this morning. Charlie was rained out at the beach, poor thing. So everybody's somewhere. Um, and I just got some coffee. I got to sleep in a little bit this morning, which was nice. I didn't get up till 8.30, which is really 7.30 my body clock time, but still. All right, do not let me get lost because I 150% will get lost. I'll just go in circles here. So anyway, um, I wanted to share something that I realized um, you know, okay, so I am somebody who cares very much about the environment. Um, I don't like compost. I'm not that far into it, but I recycle and I try to be as, I try to have a waste free, like Anywhere that I have an opportunity to do something waste-free, I try. So, for example, um, all the kids have reusable bento boxes for lunch where you can find the ones that I use on stateofstylejewelry.com. I put them on there because I love them. But anyway, so my kids all use reusable bento boxes. Instead of plastic bags for chips and sandwiches and things like that, cereal. I have like reusable um, BPA free like bags, you know, bags. They're not bags, they're like pouches. Um, I don't like to use tin foil, so I have like reusable, I don't know, I try very hard. Um, Whole Foods, Whole, Fo Whole Foods sells um, a plastic, uh, forks and spoons for kids lunches that can be washed and reused because I don't like to throw them out. I don't like to send. And if I send my real silverware to school, it never comes home. So I have this one from Whole Foods. It's plastic, but it can go in the dishwasher and you can use it. I think like 12 times. Anyway, why am I sharing this with you? Well, for one, because I hope that my love of, for the environment will spark your love of the environment. Um, 
but like I bring my own bags to the supermarket and I fill my own bags. I don't like to use plastic or paper bags from the supermarket. Um, and if I have to, then I reuse them. But um, certainly my family could do better. I think every family could do better, unless you're Laura Ingalls. If you're Laura Ingalls, you're probably doing a great job. Um, but anyway, so it's very important to me and it is not at all important to Michael. Michael doesn't give two shits. It's not that he doesn't like appreciate the environment. Of course he does. But if I go into a store and forget my reusable bag, I will go back out to my car to get it. Michael will be like, no, I'm using the plastic bags at Publix. I don't give a shit. I have tried very hard to get him excited about the things that excite me, to care about the things that I care about. I have tried very hard to explain to him why it's important to me, why it's good for to teach the kids, why it's good for the environment. I'm just using this as an example. And yet still, when he packs their lunch, he will forget the bento boxes. He'll start pulling out the tin foil, the Ziploc bags, all the shit, which fine. Is it the end of the world? No, REM, it's not the end of the world, okay? But does it contribute to the end? Maybe, especially when the stuff I've purchased is within reach, it's within arm's reach. All you have to do is turn around and open the cabinet and it, or everything that I've purchased to do a sustainable lunch for our children is right there. It's not even like he has to go somewhere far or build something or make something. It's right there. He never does. Sorry. I love your hair. Thank you. Um, he never does. Okay. He just grabs the tin foil, grabs the plastic bag, starts putting snacks into the pit. And so I come behind him and I huff and I puff and I blow his fucking ass down. And I, and I, I take the snacks out of the Ziploc bags. I put them into the sustainable bag and he sees me and he's like, it's already done. Just leave it. I'm like, no. I don't want to leave it because it's more trash that goes into the garb. It's, it's not necessary. We can do our part. It's not that hard to do our part. It's not that big of a deal. It's all right here. And I bought this um, like reusable saran wrap kind of stuff where you can wrap bowls with it, wrap sandwiches, and he never uses it. And finally I said to him, like, what do I have to do? What do I have to say? Like, it matters to me. The environment matters to me. A green, a, like some sort of green footprint matters to me. I'm not asking you to compost. I'm not asking you to throw your apple cores into the backyard in a ditch. I'm just asking you to like make a small effort why do I have to pull your shit out of the garbage and put it into the recycling bin? Like, it's important to me. Can you just try? And what I realized in that moment is it's not personal. He loves me. He doesn't care about it. And you cannot force people to care about the things. You just... Sorry, I don't know what's happening with my... Hold on. I don't know what's going on. I think I went too far from the hotel. So the Wi-Fi was like not happy with me. But uh, let me see if I need to go on to... I know I'm frozen. Anyway, if you stuck with me this long, just hear me out. What I'm trying to do is save you from the heartache that I went through in trying to get somebody to care about the things that you care about. You can't. 
it shouldn't deter you from caring about the things that you care about. It shouldn't, like, you, you should not take it personal, but you cannot force somebody to care about the things that you care about. You cannot force people, you can't guilt them, you can't shame them, you can't remind them, you can't high five them, you can't reward them into caring about the things that you care about. You have to understand that caring for things is something that comes from inside somebody. There are so many situations where I have tried to present data, information, reasoning, benefits to my husband about a green footprint. And it's not that, um, it's not that uh, he doesn't, he, he's not like a climate denier, right? Um, he just, Um, I can't just get rid of the old stuff, guys. He's a grown man who knows how to go food shopping himself. I can't just like, it's not, a, it's not as easy as me just throwing out tinfoil. He knows how to buy tinfoil. You guys understand that, right? He, he's, I'm not the only one who goes grocery shopping. This is just an example. Don't get too caught up on the, on the example. My point is that I exhausted myself trying to convince him, teach him, show him, reward him, get the kids involved. Like I've tried everything. And at the end of the day, if someone doesn't care about something, they just don't care about it. It doesn't matter how much you inform them, reward them, guilt them, celebrate them, shame them, whatever. Um, he just doesn't care about it. I do, and he doesn't, period. So in order to not stress yourself out and make you want to sm smash your head into a wall, my suggestion is just to continue to focus on the things that matter to you and do the best job you can do for um, the things that matter to you and then keep focusing on what matters to you, whatever it is, whatever the cause is, whatever the thing is. It doesn't have to be recyclables, it doesn't have to be the environment, it could be equality, it could be religion, it could be soccer, it could be your parents, it doesn't matter. Um, whatever it is that is important to you, get right exactly julie it's not on the top of his list whatever floats his boat everybody has different priorities so um the only reason i say this is i i have a lot of messages from people who are like i don't understand he just doesn't care or she just doesn't care and this is just a reminder that some people will just never care about the things you care about they just won't um to those of you that are fighting in the comments about climate change and like asking like trying to shit on me because i have a starbucks cup you've legit not only missed the point but i'm a hundred percent blocking you because that's not at all what this community is about or you can take yourself out that'd probably be easier um I did not get any symptoms with my second shot, no. And just so you guys know, I use the same Starbucks cup for like a week. In fact, my kids make fun of me because I make tea in my Starbucks cup every night and I love it. And they're like, that's so gross. It's like coffee, tea coffee. I'm like, well, I don't care, I love it. Um, it doesn't make him a bad person. I never said it did. It doesn't mean he doesn't love you. Of course not. That's why I said he loves me. He just doesn't care about the certain things that I care about. Has nothing to do with love. Has nothing to do with whether he's a good person. He legit just, it's not his thing. He does not want to make the effort. 
even though I've made it so easy for him. <laughs> like no effort but okay whatever I'm just saying as easy as it is to put cereal in a plastic bag you could easily just put it in the things that I purchased but sure whatever it's just not your jam okay I reuse everything I reuse everything I just do it's who I am I like it I just like it but I'm not I'm not gonna convince the world that they need to do the same thing. In fact, some of the mothers here at the soccer tournament were like, is that the same coffee cup from Friday? I'm like, yes, it is. I will make a coffee in the hotel coffee room and put it in my Starbucks cup because it keeps it hot. Who cares if I reuse the same cardboard coffee cup for three days? It hasn't killed me yet. So maybe you never will. Anyway, I love you guys very much. And I only share this with you. This isn't really about recycling, although I knew when I used this as an example that everyone was gonna get caught up on that. It's just a reminder that sometimes even people who love you just don't care about the same things you care about. So then what? What do you do if they just don't care about the same things you care about? You keep caring anyway. And you keep making the best effort and the best uh, and you, you, you just keep doing you and you try not to focus on the fact that it doesn't mean anything to them. I will never stop using recyclable stuff <laughs> ever, even if my husband and children never subscribe to it. I love it. I poured my almond milk to take here for my coffee in a glass, in a recycled glass jar. A fucking like mason jar I don't care I don't care Olivia was like you could just buy almond milk there why would I buy almond milk in Georgia when I have almond milk in Birmingham that I can pour into a glass jar and put in the refrigerator in my hotel room I don't like to waste I am NOT wasteful <laughs> okay I'm just gonna keep caring anyway and you keep caring too and then we'll all just be caring together. Okay, I love you guys so much, so much. Thanks for listening to my rambles. Have a great, great day.